Hey you, welcome to my channel. I'm Camille. I will be doing a comparison between hairspray and gel. What I'm looking for between these two products is hold and longevity over a period of time until my next wash day ultimately. Now, as I take my hair out, I must confess that I have not been making my little tail in the back, which is also creating knots and difficulty tangling while I do my wash days. So it's just solidifying the, the need to do my little tail in the back and keep the longevity of my hair. So this Pantene Curl Cream, I'm going to be using it throughout my whole head as a control. And with this little tail in the back, I'm going to braid it partially and then finger coil the rest. As well as adding this Cantu oil that's for your scalp as well as for your hair so that I can start oiling my ends again. I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of my hair as well. As I split it into two parts and if you hear my stomach talking, it's because it's hungry. But normally, I don't eat breakfast. Okay. Sorry. Okay, back. Now, I'm reading the instructions. The hairspray is more of a setting spray. Or is it the gel you add two pumps to your sections so I'm adding a good amount of water to both areas both parts and adding the curl cream now I'm splitting the hair into two sections so that my hand has its own area to work with and I am paying most more attention to the root in midsections, but I do add a little bit more water and the curl cream to the ends if they need it. But they don't always need it. All you need is more water sometimes. So I separate the other part and add the curl cream. Always emulsify the product between your hands and then slather it onto your hair just like this all that jazz now i always need to hear a little bit of that squishy sound and if i don't i add more water if the water is not enough then i add more product i add more water before i add more product now, <laughs> this happens. My hand had a little bit of a cramp, so I gave it a tiny massage before I continued to detangle my hair. And, and yeah, that happens. So, and this, I will show you the amount of hair I have detangled out of. Little tiny walnut of hair. Next, we will split my hair into three parts for the gel section because I personally know how good of a hold it gives. It has uh, a good hold that's not, it does not form a cast, at least with the amount of product I apply to it, which is a good thing for me at least. And I'm just applying it, applying it evenly, but I feel like I should have added a little more to the ends. I think that's my only inconsistency for me at least i should have added more to the ends or added a little bit more all together the whole section just pay attention to the ends itself and be saturated but i didn't I just scrunched it up because I'm just looking for the hold, which is what it gives. But as you can tell, it's a little stringy at the ends and it's just showing that it needed more water too, I think. But I noticed water and gel, they don't, they kind of, they do stuff. They feel as if the water is washing the gel away, but you need the water to hydrate the, wa the hair in order for that gel to adhere to it and do its thing and keep that hold which I kind of did here adding a little bit more gel to the the ends 
and not the rest of that section when I should have. There's always trial and errors when you do comparison items. Next, we're going to use a hairspray. Now with this, I thought to start it with small sections since if I use bigger sections like I did with the gel, it would be... You would see where the hairspray was sprayed upon and you notice where it was not. And then I made a mistake. I'm not laying down a towel to capture anything that sprays onto my shoulder. And I just spray enough all the way down to the ends and scrunch. And I always thought if it needs to be detangled, I will detangle it with the brush, but ultimately it does not need the, the brush unless it's needed. It's kind of what I was thinking while st styling this portion of the hair. And as always, there's always going to be a chance to trim off some dead hair that's making it difficult to brush through. So that's why I did that. And then finish off styling that little portion. And that is it. You can see I feel like the hairspray is going to win more of the hold, but you can also just see the trial and errors with both sides. There's both, they're both frizzy for, for one. I did not wear a bonnet when I went to bed. So the inner sense side, you can see the hold, but you can see the frizz, which happens. And you see the hairspray side. You see the hold, you see some definition. And you see a little bit of some tiny, small volume on the top from the how I styled. Whereas the gel, I didn't style like that. So you can see the difference from that. And yeah, it's a good option. If you don't have hairspray, but you have gel. If you do have gel, then you use that. You just see the difference. It's, it's nice. Like and subscribe. And as always, embrace joy. Thank you.